In science, in this video, I will show you two ways to find the greatest common factor. And remember, the greatest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest number that will divide evenly into all numbers. So let's work two examples, and I'm going to show you two ways. One using factors, the other using prime factors. Okay, now on this first example, I'll show you how to find the factors, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, the technique I like to use is I write 1 times 6. Then I find all the numbers in between 1 and 6 that multiply together and equal 6. So, will 2 go into 6? Yes, 2 times 3 will go into 6. And there's no number in between 2 and 3, so I know that's all the factors. I'm going to repeat for 8. Will 2 go into 8? Yes, 2 goes into 8 4 times. Now, will 3 go into 8? No, and so I've used all the numbers in between 2 and 4, so I know that's all the factors. So now to find the greatest common factor, I see the, I find the largest number that's common on each list. 1 is common, but 2 is larger than 1, so 2 is the GCF. Okay, so the GCF equals 2. Now to find using the factor method, and I'll show you one time. I like to use a factor tree. So 2 goes into 6 3 times. It's a pretty short factor tree because they're both prime and I will circle them. 8, 2 goes into 8 4 times. You don't have to use 2 every time, but it goes into a lot of numbers. And now 2 goes into 4 2 times. So circle both 2s so I have all the prime numbers. So that shows you how I found. Here's the factor tree for 2 and 3. And here's the factor tree for 2, 2, and 2. Now all you do is find the factor, the prime factor that's common on both lists. And 2 is common. And that's the only one because there's only one. There's no. There's a 2 here, but not here. There's a 3 here, but not here. So I know that the prime number then is 2. Now, if there was more than one prime number common on each list, you would multiply these together. And I've got an example of that in just a moment. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and jump ahead and do one with three numbers using the same technique, okay? So, here we go. Mind focus. There we go. Okay. Um, in sake of time, uh, here are the factors of 18. 1, 2, 6, 9, 18. Factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. And for 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. So again, I look for numbers that are found on each list, the largest number. 1 is, 2 is, now, and 3, no, it's on this list and this list, but not here. 6 is here, here, and here. So 6 is here, so 6 can be a candidate. 9 is not found, it's found on two of them. 8 is only found on one. 18 is not. It's found on 2, so we've run out of numbers. So 6 is the largest number. So there we go. So the GCF of these three numbers, 18, 24, 36, equals 6. Now, if we were to use the prime numbers, and um, you can create a factor tree for each of these numbers. I'm not going to. But the prime factors for 18 are 2, 3, and 3. For 24, they're 2, 2, and 2, and 3. And for 36, they're 2, 2, 3, 3. So I see 2 is common on all three lists. And it looks like 3 is common on all three lists. Okay. And this, there's a 3 here, but I've already used this 3. And there's a 2, but not here. So 2 and 3 are common prime, prime numbers for each of these three numbers. So I multiply these together, and that equals 6. So if you need to know more about factoring, this playlist will help. And I hope this um, method of two different methods for finding the GCF of these numbers is helpful. Thanks for watching, and MooMooMath uploads a new math and science video every day.